In this video, I'm going to cover the properties of circles and tangents. First, let us go through the basics. Most of these concepts you have done in lower classes, so I will quickly cover the concepts. First, let's discuss straight line property. So in this case, angle ACD is equal to 100 degree. We need to find angle DCB. So angle ACD plus angle DCB will be equal to 180 degree. The reason for that is sum of angles in a straight line is 180 degree. Therefore, angle DCB is equal to 180 minus angle ACD, which is equal to 100 degree. Therefore, angle DCB is equal to 80 degree. Next property, reflex angle. So in this case, angle AOB is equal to 100 degree. And we need to find reflex angle AOB. So reflex angle AOB will be equal to 360 minus 100 degree. The reason for that, the sum of angles at a point is equal to 360 degree. So therefore, 360 minus 100 will be equal to 260 degree. Next, we'll discuss triangle property. So angle A is 80 degree, angle C is 40 degree. We need to find angle ABC. In triangle property, angle CBA plus angle BSC plus angle ACB will be equal to 180 degree. The reason for that, sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degree. Therefore, angle CBA will be equal to 180 minus 80 plus 40 which is equal to 180 minus 120 equal to 60 degree. Also based on triangle, pay attention to isosceles triangles. So in this case, we need to find angle OAB and angle OBA. So if you look at this diagram, we know that OA is equal to OB. The reason for that is radius of the same circle. So since OA is equal to OB, angle OAB will be equal to angle OBA due to isosceles triangle properties. So using the property, what we can do, we can take let angle OAB is equal to angle OBA equal to X. Therefore, in triangle OBA, X plus X plus 100 will be equal to 180 degree. Sum of angle in a triangle is 180 degree. So 2x is equal to 80, x is equal to 40. So angle OAB is equal to angle OBA equal to 40 degree. Next we will discuss parallel line properties. So in this case, if AB is parallel to CD and PQ is a transversal line, then angle PQB will be equal to angle CPQ. Similarly, angle AQP will be equal to angle DPQ. Reason for that, alternate angles are equal. Next property, angle AQP will be equal to angle CPM. This is because corresponding angles are equal. Similarly, angle BQP will also be equal to angle DPM. So next, angle AQP plus angle CPQ will be equal to 180 degree. Reason for that, sum of co-interior angle is 180 degree. Similarly, angle PQB plus angle QPD will also be equal to 180 degree. Now let's discuss circle properties. So we'll start with the first property. If AB is a diameter and you make a triangle on the circumference, then angle ACB will be equal to 90 degree. Keep in mind, this property works only if AB is the diameter. So if we take an arc AB and the chord AB, the area under the chord and the arc is called as segment. The smaller one will be known as the minor segment and the larger one will be known as the major segment. So now let's look at the next property of circle. From the arc AB, if you draw an angle ACB and similarly another angle ADC, then in this case, the angles will be equal. That means if angle ACB is equal to 40 degree, then angle ADB will be equal to 40 degree. So angle in the same segment are equal. Now let's discuss the third property. So from the arc AB, if you subtend an angle at the center, that is angle AOB, and another angle at the circumference, that is angle ACB, then if ACB is equal to X, 
then angle AOB will be 2x. So this property of circle is angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. So in this case, you can see the circumference angle is given as 40 degree. So if the angle in the circumference is given, then double the angle at the center. So in this case, 2 into 40 will be 80 degree. Similarly, if the angle in the center is given, then divide the angle in the center by 2 to find the angle in the circumference. So in this case, angle at the center is 100 degree. So if you divide it by 2, you will get 50 degree. If A, B, C and D are four points lying on the circumference of a circle, then A, B, C, D is a cyclic quadrilateral. So in a cyclic quadrilateral, angle A plus angle C will be equal to 180 degree. Similarly, angle B plus angle D will be equal to 180 degree. So in a cyclic quadrilateral, opposite angles are supplementary. Let's look at the next property of cyclic quadrilateral. So if you extend AD to E, then in this case, angle CDE will be equal to angle B. So in a cyclic quadrilateral, exterior angle is equal to opposite interior angle. Now let's discuss tangent properties. A tangent is a line which touches the circle only at a single point. The angle between the tangent and the radius is 90 degree. Let's look at the next property of tangents. So you can see the major segment. So in the major segment, if you draw a triangle, that is in this case ABC, then the angle between the chord and the tangent will be equal to angle in the alternate segment. If you look at the other side, you can find AC is the chord and AD is the tangent. So in this case, angle CAD will be equal to angle CBA. So angle in the alternate segments are equal. Now there are a few more properties based on uh, tangents from an external point. So if P is an external point and you draw two tangents from P, that is PA and PB, then you have some few properties based on this. So the first one is the length of tangents are equal. That means in this case, PA will be equal to PB. Also, if you draw the radius from the tangent, then we can see a quadrilateral over here, angle BPA, plus angle OBP plus angle BOA plus angle OAP will be equal to 360 degree. From the properties of tangents, we already know that the, rate, the angle between the radius and the tangent is 90 degree. So in this case, OBP will be 90 degree and OAP will be 90 degree. So by substituting the value, we will get angle BPA plus 90 plus angle BOA plus 90 is equal to 360. Simplifying it, BPA plus BOA will be equal to 360 minus 180. Therefore, angle BPA plus BOA is equal to 180 degree. Now let's join OP. So the next property based on this, the tangent subtend equal angles at the center. So in this case, angle AOP will be equal to angle BOP. That means if angle AOP is equal to 60 degree, then angle BOP will be 60 degree. Similarly, the tangents are equally inclined to the line joining the point and the center of the circle. In this case, angle APO will be equal to angle BPO. So if angle APO is 30 degree, then angle BPO will be 30 degree. So whenever you get a question based on circles and tangents, there are a few things you have to observe to solve it. So some of the things you can observe are basics of geometry, the diameter, look for an arc, cyclic quadrilateral and tangents. Let's discuss one by one. So first let's discuss the basics of geometry. So you might see straight line properties, reflex angle properties, triangle properties and parallel line properties. Also pay attention to isosceles triangle properties. Next you see if diameters are present in the diagram. So if diameters are present in the diagram, then angle in a semicircle will be 90 degree. There are two properties which are dependent on arcs. One is angle in the same segment are equal and the other one is angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. Even in case of cyclic quadrilateral, there are two properties based on that. If you see cyclic quadrilateral, then opposite angles are supplementary and exterior angle is equal to opposite interior angle. And then you have 
tangent properties that is the angle between the tangent and the diameter is 90 degree and also angle in the alternate segments are equal so i've gone through the properties of circles and tangents now let's try to solve some problems so in problem number one in the given diagram o is the center of the circle circumscribing triangle abc cd is perpendicular to chord ab angle oac is equal to 32 degree find each of the unknown angle x y and z so first let's find x as i've already informed observe and see which properties you can apply so you can see x is part of a triangle and in this triangle oa is equal to oc the reason for that radius of the same circle so since oa is equal to oc angle oac is equal to angle oca is equal to 32 degree reason for that isosceles triangle property so using triangle property we can write x is equal to 180 minus 32 plus 32 the reason for that sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degree therefore x is equal to 116 so we have found x now now let's find y so again look at the diagram and see which property you can apply so if you look at the arc ac the arc ac makes angle aob at the center and angle abc at the circumference so since angle at the center is given we can find angle at the circumference by dividing the angle at the center by 2 so y is equal to 116 by 2 so the reason for that angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference therefore y is equal to 58 degree so we have found y also so now let's find z so z is part of a triangle bcd in that angle d is 90 degree angle b is 58 so we can use triangle property so in this case z is equal to 180 minus 90 plus 58 so sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degree so therefore z is equal to 32 degree so we have found x y and z try solving this problem on your own once you are done you can resume the video in the given figure o is the center of the circle c is a tangent to the circle at a if angle ABD is equal to 26 degree, then find angle PDA. So you can see in BDA, AB is the diameter. So if AB is a diameter, then angle BDA will be equal to 90 degree. And the reason for that angle in a semicircle is 90 degree. Now next let's find BAD. So can you observe which property can you use? Yes, you can see a triangle over here. So we know angle B is 26 degree, angle D is 90 degree. So we can use triangle property therefore bad is equal to 180 minus 90 plus 26 so sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degree so by simplifying it we get bad is equal to 64 degree next angle cad a is the tangent and ad is the chord ad makes angle b at the circumference which is equal to 26 degree so therefore angle CAD is equal to 26 degree reason angle in the alternate segment are equal now last we have to find angle ODB the angle is part of a triangle ODB also OD is equal to OB the reason for that radius of the same circle so therefore ODB will be equal to OBD equal to 26 degree isosceles triangle property so you can try out some more problems based on circles and tangents. I have uploaded a worksheet in the description. You can use it for practice.